and intensed. Uh, intensed? Intensed. <laughs> intense. <laughs> It is Make Baby Monday, and we have an update for you guys. So much update! Oh. Uh, soy. 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 <laughs> Last soy. week, we did an update for you, um, and we let you know about our news, which was that we did a quad screening test, which tests for all abnormalities in chromosomes and stuff like that. And it came back flagged, which means we had to go in for further testing. Um, and we kind of wanted to speak on that before we told you the results and showed you the results and stuff like that. Yeah, if you saw our baby food challenge video, uh, during the update, we came across frustrated. And we got a and few messages. So. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We got a few messages from a few people that saw the video, and they were kind of questioning if we would love the girls if they ended up having Down syndrome or something like that. So we wanted to clarify that our frustration and anger towards the situation, at least for me, and I think I can say for Eric as well, was based around the money situation of it because in my head if we spent so much money for a particular test um, and it didn't end up working it would feel like that money was wasted and that five thousand dollars is a lot of money that we could spend on food for the girls clothing for the girls medical bills for the girls so that's why for me I was going to feel quite bitter about the whole situation had it gone that way. No matter yeah. what happens, we are going to love these two baby girls as much as any other. We, no matter what happens, abnormalities, if they come out with, you know, some kind of difficulty or whatever, we are going to absolutely adore them, love them as much as we would if they came out as healthy as can be. Children aren't something that if you, t you bring them home and they don't come out like you wanted them to, you can't go and return them. So <laughs> we're not about that life and we're gonna love them equally, no matter if they're similar, different, whatever, however they come into this world, we're gonna cover them with unconditional love because they're gonna be our daughters no matter what. So I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get all like heated, but we are going to like, and a lot of people did comment saying that they knew that, they know that we are gonna love our girls no matter what. Um, but for anybody that questioned that with our update and what we were talking about as far as like the money stuff last week, uh, yeah, we just wanted to clarify that because dang it, the girls, I don't wanna cuss, but the girls are our girls and we're gonna love them no matter what. So with that said, we did find out that both girls, as far as the doctors are concerned, they aren't concerned actually because the girls appeared completely normal, nothing was wrong, and it was clarified for us with, because there was a meeting with the genetics counselor before we had the ultrasound, and they said that the girls were tested with Julie's age, our egg donor, and then they were tested with Corinne's age, who is our surrogate. With Julie, they came out completely normal. The only reason they were flagged was because of Corinne's age, um, and because Corinne is slightly older, it, I guess with older age, it kind of heightens the... The risk, yeah. The risk, yeah, and yeah. so the only reason was because of Corinne's age. Had they told us that before we went into this... There would have been less of a concern. We would have been more sure. peace of mind about the whole situation, yeah. just because if it's about an age and not something genetics or anything like that. Cause I was like, we did a genetics testing. Why is there genetic problems? Like, did they yeah. not, not catch something? Well, the PGS either? testing like, that we did do was 95% accuracy. So there was, was still a 5%, yeah, 5 yeah. chance of something uh, went through and we didn't see, yeah. but still that's a very small number. And so if they would have told us the whole age thing and how they were coming up with the numbers. normal numbers yeah. and that ours weren't normal, uh, I think we would have approached this even a little more differently. Yeah. Um, and my, but, I called my dad and I was super upset when Corinne had called us initially and told us that these were flagged and 
this might happen, da -da 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 -da. and I call my dad, and then after the ultrasound, I call my dad again, and I was like, update, everything's fine, like the girls are healthy. He's like, you need to not get so dramatic. I'm like, these are my girls, I'm not gonna take it lightly, like. He was like, you need to be a little more level-headed. Like Eric. Like Eric. I was like. <laughs> I was like, yes, thanks, Dad. But I threw it back in his face because I'm like, listen, I am just like Mom and you married her, so... Okay. <laughs> That's right. But That's whatever. Right. Yeah. But everything turned out fantastic. We talked to numerous doctors. They all said they have no concerns. All the body parts were there. It just, they looked The measurements, great. they measurements. looked for like... Uh, cleft palates, uh, and everything seems to be normal, so... And one, I think baby... A was 257 grams, and then baby B was 263, if I'm remembering those correctly, but they want them to be quite similar in yeah. size, and they are. So everything looks great, and uh, here's some footage from our whole day with all the ultrasounds and all that stuff. intense ultrasound and about an hour long and it was about half an hour for each baby so and baby it was a so cool we and so got, like um, and so intricate comprehensive they, zoomed in. yeah. they like took every single measurement possible um, usually this ultrasound it happens about 20 22 weeks we were lucky enough to have it two weeks prior uh, because of testing, further testing for the Down Because center. we got flagged, they asked us to come to this particular center and get this specific ultrasound that was very yeah. comprehensive and intricate and all that uh, to see about the flagged things, so. And it was just really cool. We got to see them so in depth and up close and personal. And it was just, it was really cool. And yeah. you'll see it. Um, and the, the uh, what's it called? screenshot of this video is really cool because the two girls were like facing the same way and their heads looking were like looking the same, same way. Direction. It was yeah. so cool. Like they and were, their heads were like so close to each other. During the whole ultrasound, they were like, basically spooning each other. We were like, they're besties already! That was yeah. really cool. So that was our highly intense sonogram. As you can see, there were like the vertebrae, like you could see everything. Oh, the so spine, cool. the oh, spine was the coolest. The vertebrae was the coolest part. Yeah, yeah, it was so cool. And like you got to see their feet, like their little foot and- uh, Eye sockets and their mouths. And one of the girls, I think Baby B was opening her mouth. Uh-huh. Yeah. She was like- And- the more ultrasounds we have, baby A is very hyperactive, doesn't really cooperate during ultrasounds. Baby B is quite chill, always listens to the ultrasound ladies. I wonder who's like, is who's. So we're like set on baby A being mine and baby B being Eric's because hell yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed today's video and the update. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment down below. And thank you for all the comments last week for all the positivity and yeah. love, because we really appreciated it. And it put a little things a little more at peace and it was a little easier going into it knowing that we were being supported. Yeah, so going into you. something scary like that, it was really nice to have some love and positivity from all you guys, so thank you. Yeah. Next week, we are doing a special interview. video. Yes, yes. Interview, interview with Corinne, Corinne. Which we're really excited about. Uh, we sat down with her and briefly chatted and talked to her about what it's been like so, thus far. Yeah. Uh, throughout, you know, the whole implantation, to the shots, to the whole trimester, first trimester, how that went into the second one. And it, um, yeah, we plan to do one further down the road with her as well to see yeah. if anything has changed. But uh, next week, next Monday, is going to be spotlighted on Corinne. 
Uh, we love her so much, and uh, we're excited to share a little interview with her. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Three. Three.